Hey, Sappy friends. Welcome to the Joyous Sappy with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and it's our Fun Fold Friday. Today, I have our very last Valentine's Day card I'll be making of the month. I'm using no stamps. It is a stamp-free card, which means it's also an ink-free card. So go to Hold Life Flip, and I'll show you how I made our Fun Fold today. All right, let me push this in view a little bit better so you can see it. There we go. Hopefully my stand isn't going to fall. I feel like it was making noises just a second ago. Okay. Well, it is Fun Fold Friday, and that means that anyone that comments between now till midnight on this Friday it has the chance to earn the card that we are making in our video today. So please, please comment, share, whatever you want to do. If you're watching this on the replay or even on Facebook or on YouTube, I love to see your comments. All right, the card today we're making is, like I said, it is a stamp-free card. Instead, we're just using the DSP, which is designer series paper called Sweet Talk, which does all of the talking for us in this card. It is great because it's simple enough, but when we pull on our cute little bow, it opens up into this awesome mega fold. Super, super cute. And then we left a little spot here for a basic white, so you can go ahead and hand write your own message there as well. All right, let me go ahead and show you the supplies. It is a very simple card. So as you can see, I only have a couple things in here and that's basically it, minus the paper. So let me grab the kit items for it. You'll need two sheets or pieces of Highland Heather cardstock that measures at the nine by three. And then we have it scored at three and six inches. If you didn't catch those measurements, don't worry. I'll have a link below in the description or on the comments if you're watching this on Facebook. Then you're also gonna need some DSP and card base. So I'm using a pool party as my card base, but all it is is one piece of a quarter of a piece of cardstock. So that measures at four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we also have our DSP that we're gonna use is at four by five and a quarter. And we'll just glue that over on our pool party. And then we have our pieces of DSP to choose from that are, those all are the same measurements as two and three fourths by two and three fourths and same with our basic white, same size. So it's fairly basic. We do need tear tape, our multi-purpose liquid glue, a bone folder is always handy to have, an embellishment of course, and I'm using this awesome um, real red ribbon. That's a linen ribbon. If I can see that three times fast, right? Oh, it is just gorgeous, super pretty. And we'll need about 16 inches of that. All right, let me go ahead and clear our workspace and we can get started. So the first thing I recommend is to get your base ready and let's go ahead and put some liquid glue on the back of our DSP. And it's up to you which side you wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and do the opposite of this one. So this has that paper on that this card. But I'm gonna flip it over and have our more of our cute little hearts with our texting sayings on it. It's things like you are cute, BFX, text me. All right, so there we go. We have that on our pool party there. Super easy, right? Next we have our two pieces of our Highland Heather. Go ahead and grab your bone folder and start making some folds with this. You just wanna crease them each and kind of get a feel of how we want this to open up. Grab that one. And then go back and forth, kind of to make like a in, I would say, if I have it that way. So our last piece needs to be opening this direction so that way we can write on it easily. So we wanna take this end piece with this piece right here and we're just gonna glue those together. And afterwards, we'll see if we folded them right. And if not, then we can go ahead and recrease it in a different direction. Just need a little bit of liquid glue and we'll have to have some time for this to dry. Or if you wanna use tear tape for this step, you totally could. Okay. So we're gonna have it going in this way, that way. Oh, we we did it right. Awesome. Okay, next let's go ahead and add our, our basic white 
to the very last one here. And that's the one we're gonna attach also to our card base. A little bit of liquid glue around the outside. When I made my original, I got a little bit too glue happy. I don't know because it's really hot in here and it just makes that liquid flow super easy, but it made sticky spots and it just kind of oozed out. So all I used was a regular white eraser and I rubbed off the gluey spots after it dried and they came right off. So if you get a little bit glue crazy, you can totally fix it. All right, so now we have these pieces of DSP and we need to choose which ones we want. So this time I was gonna change it up because I really liked, let's see, we can either have that one for the front or I wanted to make sure that this guy was there. And what you can kind of do is kind of see what looks too busy. So this guy as my first piece is too busy for me. Too many hearts, two different colors. So I don't want this one to be the front like I did for this one. But if I flip this one over, the stripes wouldn't look too bad for that front. Or would this one that has the little bit of stains there. Or, let's see, this stripey one. I feel like that one's a little bit too busy too for that one. So I think we're gonna go ahead and use this guy here and we're gonna glue him to this first guy. And then after you have your end and your front, the middle is just totally up to you. Oops, careful, I wiggle that one and it turned. There we go, wiggle it back, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here because that one's super cute and it matches when we open that one. And then I'm gonna throw in a couple of my stripes. And the way to make stripes look different is just to turn them. So I'm gonna have one going um, up and down and one going across, so horizontal and vertical. Just by changing the direction of the square. And this is just kind of like stamping on here. So the images that we're using creates the pattern look to it. Doesn't need any embellishing, any stamping because the paper is doing all of that work for us, which is pretty awesome. All right, there we've created our fun little panel. And now what we need to do is go ahead and close it up and grab our ribbon. I have this beautiful ribbon here that we're gonna just wrap it around and tie a bow. This is a real red and it's that linen ribbon. And I have about 16 inches. I'm gonna pull it taut so I can see if it's about halfway in both. And then wish me luck as I tie a bow on camera. That's always the hardest, right? Tie a million bows and then put a camera in front of you and all of a sudden your bow has become very special. We're just gonna loop this around and I might wanna do a redo, we'll see. Oh, he is super special. Hold on. Untie, that's the beauty of a bow. You can always try again. Okay, there we go. I feel like this is gonna be a better one. And pull it tight and then trim your ends however you want. Again, this is gonna be opened and closed by tying the bow, so it doesn't have to be really, really perfect. It just needs to look pretty the first time. Okay, so flip this part over and grab your tear tape. We're gonna put tear tape on three spots. So you can measure that, we know that's three inches, so you can measure or just rip it off and put tear tape on the top. Tear tape on the bottom. And we're using tear tape because it's just a stronger adhesive and we need that because it's gonna be such an, like a long item that we don't want it to fall off the front of our card. And I'm putting one piece right over my ribbon. That's gonna help secure my ribbon so when we open it up, that ribbon's not sliding off. Then you're just going to use your bone folder if you need to burnish it a little bit. And then we'll remove the backings. Flip it over, put it in the center of our card base. Just about there. 
And there we go. We have a super easy fun fold card. And once they open that bow, out pops this great looking card. I did embellish. Let me show you the embellishments you could add or any embellishments of your choice. In fact, I'm using the elegant faceted gems and I'm going to put three of them on here. And I'm going to use this beautiful, more of a cloudy white. This is more of a clear and that's more of like a champagne look. I love that there's three different choices in one set of embellishments. All right, we're gonna do a larger one and a smaller one down here at the corner. And then we'll do one more small guy up here. I put my small guy on the DSP on that one, so it's totally up to you, but I'm gonna keep it going and have it up here on the corner. And there we go, embellished and ready to go. A beautiful, simple card. This would be a great one to give to a teacher because there's nothing lovey in it. It's just all the paper doing the cute work for you. All right, you guys, I hope you had a great time learning how to make this Valentine's Day card with no stamps and no ink. And I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a great Valentine's Day. It's coming up on Monday. So have a great weekend, everyone. Happy stamping. Goodbye.